Welcome to 10 TV Plus. We've got a lot of stuff to get to here over the next 10 minutes as we begin the, our first few days of meteorological winter. Let's go ahead and recap the month of November. And as we look back in time, man, November was a very dreary month. We had only three sunny days. That's right, the entire month, only three sunny days, 16 cloudy days, 11 days are what we would call partly cloudy days. But man, let's look at that 16 cloudy days for the entire month of November. So definitely very gloomy out there. And now here's a sneak preview of what you can expect as we head into the month of December. Average rainfall, just over three inches here. Now the average temperature today, average high temperature is about 46 degrees. By the end of the month, we shave off about eight degrees with the average high being 38. Now I'll tell you one thing with how doggone cold it is out there, we would do anything to have temperatures this warm, but that's not going to be the case, at least not for this week, as I'll really dig into those details here in just a minute. As we look outside right now, we may not have the snow that they're getting in Northeast Ohio, but it is cold enough here. And so the snow guns are ablazing in Logan County here at uh, Mad River Mountain. You can see uh, they were going this morning at about six, seven o'clock they were going. And now just within the last hour, they turned them off. But as we move the camera, you can see that we do have a few of those guns uh, blowing out there in the, dis in the distance. So it should not be too long until we see crowds heading to uh, Mad River Mountain. Elevation about 1,460 feet. So hopefully with the help of some of that extra terrain, they'll get some more snow as we uh, head into the days ahead. But man, that's just so cool to see the guns going already. And that's really good news after kind of how dismal the snowfall numbers were the last couple of years with how little we got. But thought that was kind of cool to show you. Snow on the ground right now. Man, look at that. Southwest New York, Erie, PA. Northeast Ohio, we're looking at some areas between 6 to 12 inches in Northeast Ohio. Some areas near Erie, Pennsylvania, between Buffalo, New York, going down towards uh, the south, have had over three feet of snow already. Additional snowfall. Most of this will come today and tomorrow. We're looking at an additional 6 to 12 inches between Buffalo and Watertown. And then as we head down to the southwest near Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, near I-86 and I-90, we're looking at an additional one to two feet. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna get that kind of snow here across Ohio, but as we go ahead and zoom in, we're gonna be looking at an additional one to four inches uh, between now and probably Tuesday night going into Wednesday when all is said and done. Now, as we go ahead and take a look at your 10 weather impact forecasts, bringing it back home, my number one concern today, not the snow, it's gonna be the cold out here. We don't even climb above freezing today. We're looking at temperatures south of freezing for all of today and all of tonight. And so make sure to dress warm out there, especially as your kids are heading off to the bus stop. Make sure to dress up nice and warm because it is going to be downright cold as we look at the next couple of days. Now, hour by hour temperatures heading into this afternoon. We don't even make it to freezing. And so this morning, or as you watch this here in the early afternoon, we're gonna be sitting around that 30 degree mark as we head into the second half of the day. So it's gonna be very cold out here. If we look at today's high temperature, and then we say, okay, what is average? If we compare today's temperature to what is so-called normal for this time of the year, look at this. We're sitting about 15 degrees below average not just where we are, but for the entire state. So it is downright cold. And as we go ahead and zoom this out here, look at the broader picture, okay? Look at the blue on the map. If you know anybody that lives in these blue colors, they are sitting well below average out there today. And it's not just today, it's really this whole week. And you gotta ask yourself the question, what is the overall driving force that is driving this cold air into the region? That's a great question, okay? It all has to do with the air upstairs in the atmosphere. This cold air that we are feeling today has originated seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 miles away out in Siberia, parts of Russia, okay? That cold air has come up from the north over the North Pole and now is leaking in the parts of Canada and parts of the lower 48. And take a look at the pinks on this map, the purple. We're looking at some of our coldest air of the season so far. And like we've been saying, it's not a one day affair. This is the trend that we are in for most likely the next week. So this cold air is not going anywhere anytime soon. Most, if not all of this week, we, we will continue to be colder than normal. Today we're going 31. Finally, 
for the first time in like four or five days, we climb above freezing. Not until Tuesday. I think by Tuesday we warm up to 35. I think the last time we were above freezing was back on Thanksgiving. And now on Wednesday, we're going to be looking at highs around 39 as we head into the afternoon hours. So we start to kind of warm things up a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at how far below average we are. And the top part of your screen is the daytime highs. These numbers, though, show how far below normal seven of the next seven days will be colder than average. Look at Thursday. We're going to be looking at temperatures 14 degrees below normal as another plunge of cold air comes into the region. All right, let's move on. Today we've got high pressure. That is going to be on top of us. And in fact, your Monday is dry. Your Tuesday is dry, but we are tracking our next clipper system that will move into the region. Big old low pressure right there. Okay, so we are watching a storm that could bring rain, snow, possibly sleet here Wednesday night going into Thursday. We have not issued a weather impact day for this because I think the brunt of this moisture is going to be held up towards Canada. Okay, we're going to be looking at a few light showers Wednesday night, but this is nothing that's going to, you know, put a stalemate to any of your commute, uh, to any of your travel here Wednesday or Thursday. That rolls on out of here, and then things are going to be looking a lot better for Thursday heading into Friday. So again, the recap, Wednesday night, we're looking at the possibility of rain and snow minimal travel impacts expected as that moves into the region. So that was kind of the bird's eye view. Let's go ahead and kind of zoom it in a little bit closer to home to give you a better idea. So look here at the map. This is going to be Wednesday. What time? Nine o'clock at night. So we've got lots of cloud cover moving into the region. So now at this point, we kind of have a battle going on between warm air from the south and cold air to the north. Notice that we kind of see the blue on the map representing that rain or the blue would be the snow and then the green on the map would be the rain and then we have this kind of fickle line right here the purple and the pink that would be where we are getting some sleet and kind of that rain snow mixture as we head towards wednesday night notice that we don't really see a whole lot of precipitation i don't think that this is a whole lot to make a big deal about it's a quick mover too okay Thursday at one o'clock in the morning, it's pretty much out of here. Things are going to be looking a lot better, but this is going to reinforce the cold air and it gets very windy on Wednesday. I'm concerned about the wind. I'm concerned about the wind chill. And so it's going to feel downright cold Wednesday night heading into the start of Thursday. Winds will be coming in between 15 to 20, maybe 25 miles per hour. Wednesday at 11 o'clock, the yellow on the map shows winds coming in around 25. We could have occasional gusts over 30, maybe close to 40 miles per hour. So get ready for that. Today we have a 10% chance of a snow flurry. Tomorrow completely dry. And then as we head towards Wednesday, it's kind of like a roller coaster or a seesaw, whatever you want to call it. We kind of go up. We have that rain snow mix on Wednesday and then another possibility of a rain snow mix here. Not until Saturday of this upcoming weekend. Generally speaking, though, the next six to 10 days, it is going to be downright cold from New England all the way out through the Midwest. Well below normal temperatures expected. And as we go ahead and take a look at precipitation, we're not really one side or the other. It looks like near normal precipitation is expected as we head towards the next eight to 14 days. So if we're looking for snow in the forecast, it looks like the best chance probably upstate New York where they're going to be getting a lot of the lake effect through this coming weekend. As we get a look here at the seven day forecast today, we're looking at temperatures around that 31 degree mark. Notice that as we head towards the afternoon, we're going to be looking at lots and lots of cloud cover. We will be looking at a couple hours here and there where the sun comes out, but we don't even make it above freezing today. Tomorrow, finally, look at that big old 35. We actually do climb above freezing for once. Look at the daytime highs for your Tuesday. We're going to be looking at temperatures between 30 to 35. Finally, we thaw things out for once. And then as we head towards Wednesday, we get all the way up to around 39 degrees. We are going to be tracking that afternoon rain snow mix. And like I've been saying before, I'll say it again, get ready for the wind as we head into the middle of the week. Just to kind of give you an idea, Tuesday we're looking at winds coming in at 5 to 15. Look at this though right here by Wednesday coming in from the west at 15 to 25. We could have a few occasional gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. And then by Thursday, we kind of roll it back a little bit as winds will only be coming in at 5 to 15. A possible flurry here Thursday, Friday, 
gets downright cold once again as we get a look here at the seven day forecast. We'll have another chance of rain and snow heading into the start of the weekend. And then finally we get up to around 40 as we head into the start of next week. So if you like the cold, if you like the snow, you're going to like the seven day forecast. And if you like the warmer weather, we do have a couple days on here where we finally climb up and above freezing. My name is meteorologist Dylan Robichaud. We appreciate you joining us here for 10 TV plus. Make sure to tune in for Jerry Martz tonight at four, five and six o'clock.